Welcome back to my video diary. I think this is going to be one of the last ones that I do in this type of format. I feel that I'm improving on my diet and monitoring my hormone balance and just in general listening to my body and my mind and what it needs and looking after it basically. It's all right, actually. I've only been doing little 20 minute runs on my lunch break and my legs are so sore because I'm not moving them or stretching them. That was pretty hard, but I know why. It's because yesterday I hardly moved at all. I did fuck all because I was waiting in for that parcel. I didn't want to leave the house so then I just sat my ass. Oh, and I could feel it, I really could. I started running my own matchmaking business last year called Soul Fees. It's been on my mind because I know that I need to make some improvements. I wasn't really enjoying it, so I thought, right, fuck it, sit down, do a to-do list, and start making those changes. Part of me just feels like quitting it. <laughs> but I think that's just because that's the easy option. I need to remember the reasons to why I was doing it. Fucking hell, it stinks in this house! One of the things I'd like to keep on top of is my to-do lists. I've kind of stopped doing them. But it is something I need to do with Sophie's because I've got so many ideas, but I'm just not doing it. I'm not implementing it. I think because there's a lot to do, I'm overwhelmed with myself. So again, I need to just do a list and more importantly, start enjoying it again and don't see it as a chore or a business. The job that I'm in now, they do a little training course on swallowing the frog, which basically means do the shit stuff, get that out of the way and then focus on the stuff that you actually enjoy doing. So this is definitely a swallowing the frog. I really struggle with like technical, IT, website -y shit, so that was definitely swallowing the frog. I've been talking to someone that I know, I won't say who, and they're really struggling with their mind and the way they've been describing it really took me back to a certain point in my life in lockdown. This person says that they just felt like all of a sudden they can just hear noise in their head and they're now exhausted and just want to get, just wants to get away from their head basically. And yeah, and I remember a similar feeling um, in lockdown. And it was around the time when dad was dying. God, I just, I just, I just went mental. <laughs> exactly how this person explained it. Just fucking noise in your head and just wanting to get out of it. But you can't obviously escape your head. I did say to this person though, I was like, you know, alcohol and late nights and whatever else you're doing is not gonna help. Especially if you're already stressed about something. My experience, of course, I wasn't in a good mind. My dad was dying and my self-medication was to, you know, do all the things you're not meant to do. So I hope this person can get to the bottom of it. I feel so much better now that I've done a bit of my soul fees. I've swallowed the frog. Um, so now I've written a list of all the little things that I need to change. Uh, next I'm going to look at a running program. <laughs> I need to get to grips and start an official running program. But first I'm going to have a shower because I haven't had one all day. <laughs> Fucking gross. So in my last video I touched on the fact that I booked me and Jane to a 10k run. So I've started my running program. But of course there's always time for fun. So we went to the fair and had a pint. We need to find Robbie Williams, Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson! Oh yeah. <laughs> the older I get, the more wimpy I get. So I actually only go on one ride, and it's this one. <laughs> That's it. I'm actually in a much better place when I'm drinking now. I've started enjoying it again, which I notice some people will be like, well, that's a bad thing, but I don't actually want to quit alcohol. I'm really enjoying it. And I wanted to get back to that place where I could just see alcohol for what it was, just a little aid to help you relax, have giggles, laughs. And I feel that I'm back to that point. Sometimes I do go a little overboard, but I'm working on it. So someone who can relate is um, my good for the soul friend. We always chat about how we are in our mind and our love for alcohol. <laughs> so we like to do a little road trip to the beach or maybe go to a country park just to have a chat and feel like we're being healthy and good <laughs> and then come back and have a drink and have some laughs and some giggles and a dance.
But I was meant to get an number six. <laughs> Today I'll run, totally haven't. I just couldn't wake up. Ooh. I'm so tired. I had a nap as well last night. <laughs> they went out going from work. About an hour or two on the couch. Then went to bed at about ten. Because okay. I've been eating shit. And it's my week before my period. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Fucking minging. I'll be careful because I'm totally naked. <laughs> Don't want to get a shot of me in the mirror. <sighs> my teeth are really sensitive as well at the moment. <sighs> this is the sign of getting older. Sensitive teeth. Overtired. <laughs> Feeling ill and tired after eating shit food. Ugh. I was so fucking tired. It was shameful. I literally could have fell asleep while brushing my teeth. And I wanted to keep this video <laughs> in because I looked like shit. Like I could see it in my skin, my eyes, everything. I was just so puffy. Look at those bags, ming in. <laughs> when I was looking back on this video, I thought, was it worth it? Eating all that shit and feeling like this. Was it worth it? No. Ugh. Fuck me. I stood shit out from Saturday night. <laughs> So I hadn't tidied the kitchen since Saturday night and then we're now on Tuesday. The good thing about my job is that it's quite flexible with regards to what time you can start. So I'm never really in a rush to start. So I've always got time to clean up the kitchen and it is important to me that I clean my environment before I work. Tidy house, tidy mind and all Let's that. See how monstrous this room is. <laughs> Fucking Usually when I had a weekend of eating shit, I always then had the craving for fat and sugar and salt, so then I would carry that on into the week. But I'm getting really better now at just being strict with myself and saying, no, have good food, cleanse your body out, start again, stop being a dick. <laughs> I'm keeping on top of the supplements as well. I feel that they're really helping, especially the ones that calm my mind and relax me. I don't know how to pronounce that supplement, but if you just rewind this video, <laughs> I've, I've done a shot of it. I'm being really conscious as well at moving my body while I'm working. It is lunchtime and I am not enthusiastic about this run at all. <laughs> Fuck. That run was pretty hard. <laughs> I did around 2.5 miles. Um, my legs were so stiff and my... Um, it's sciatic nerve <laughs> kept twinging and playing with my knee so that was not very comfortable um but fuck it i did it i thought i wasn't going to do it I was, I was thinking just do this short run and i thought no fuck you and i was really slow towards the end but i did it i did it i'm on track done day one of my training <laughs> So my good for the soul friend, she really wanted to start doing some walks um, after work. Now I'm terrible because after work, I don't want to do anything. But I thought, no, let's go for a walk, get out of my comfort zone. Um, and it was nice. We went to my favourite park, but it was really overgrown. So we couldn't really walk through my favourite bit. Good times. <laughs> But I had done a run that lunchtime, so I wasn't really in the mood for doing a long walk. Oh, fucking yes, man. <sighs> I'm fucking knackered. Ugh. What's new? What's fucking new? Boring. Same old shit. Oh, God. I woke up at half five today. Had a little chat with Jay and just went on my phone. So, yeah, I'm going to be knackered later. <laughs> it is... On Stanton weekend this weekend, so my family do this every year. Just have a weekend of eating, drinking, laughing, dancing, walking, like going to the fair. But yeah, I'm really excited. So I've got a half day at work. I need to just get that done out the way and then go get my mummy and then we're off. We used to do family holidays at Snettersham Caravan Park. So we went down there to have a little walk down memory lane. I think it was a little bit emotional for my mum, to be fair. 
So every year our family book a van or a campsite at Seoul. So my brothers and sisters, they've all got kids. So they've been doing this for 10 years. I think me and Jay have probably only been for four years, maybe? Jay couldn't make it this year, so it's just me and my mum sharing a van. We're here. It's very old school and it stinks of a caravan. What? I love it. I fucking love caravans. This is me coming back drunk from my brother's van. <laughs> I was saying to my sister-in-law, she was asking how I'm doing. And I was like, I'm really happy, I'm really content. My job is going really well. Some of my siblings, they're not so much in a happy place. It really makes me sad and it makes me angry because some of the reasons why they're not happy, I'm like, it shouldn't be fucking happening. I'm just... <laughs> It makes me angry. I'm hoping this weekend is going to be a weekend of release and that my brothers and my sisters... I can you hear that? <sighs> um, are just going to be free, have a weekend of just being, good times, laughs. For one weekend, just forget about what's going on in your real life. Oh. It's sad, but they need a break. Anyway, I'm fucking naked. <laughs> of course, again. Of course, because we're by the beach, we try to get in as much walking as we can. So we walked to Heacham Beach, my favourite beach, and then we got the bus into Snettersham Town so we could have a big meal at the Rosen Crown. I made the executive decision to have a ladies day today and what a fab decision it was. <laughs> oh, bring up the base. Here comes the base. Fucking hell, it stinks. Ladies day was very smelly and then my brother came and joined us after oh. watching footy. I love number plates. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's a belter? What's a belter? Our very own Kevin and Perry. <laughs> I ended up being really, really <laughs> drunk. Um, so drunk that I didn't know how to get myself back to my caravan. So I had to FaceTime my niece and she had to tell me which part of the park I was in <laughs> so I could get my bearings. Um, I did eventually find my way home. The thing that was on my mind, though, is that I had left a bit of a heavy conversation behind. So me and my sister, brother-in-law and niece were up and we were talking about something like very important, to be fair, but something that was quite new to my niece, shall we say. I could already feel the anxiety looming over my head. <laughs> I think because I feel super safe and comfortable with my family, I don't really monitor my drinking as much, but maybe I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fucking key? Oh my god. If I've lost my key, my mom's gonna get me annoyed. I know I found it. <laughs> I love how I just revert back to being a teenager when I'm drunk and I've lost my key. And you don't want to wake your parents up. <laughs> Yep, so I definitely had anxiety. I could not stop thinking about the conversation that we had the night before and I was just worried about my niece and, and my sister and brother and not to be fair. I thought, right, let's tidy my tiny fucking box room because I basically slept with all my luggage on my bed. There was a sausage roll next to me. <laughs> Um, and I thought, right, tidy your fucking bed. Fall the mind into thinking that you're okay, basically. <laughs> I spoke to my mum about it and she says it's absolutely fine and that the conversation was needed. Then I spoke to my niece and she was absolutely fine and she said she actually embraced the conversation. So I felt better knowing that 
everyone was okay. But hey, lesson learned. I can't drink too much anymore. And my anxiety gets the better of me, even when it's not warranted. And it's definitely not worth it. Because we were all a bit hanging, we all just monged out in this little sandy patchy area, listening to Andrew's radio. It was ace. We were so chilled and loving life. It was our last day, so we were just taking it all in. Walked back to the pub near our campsite. Um, I couldn't drink too much at all. I was just absolutely knackered and my body just didn't want it. But I had such a pleasant day being by the sea, being by my family, hearing laughter and oh, it was just lovely. Thank you for watching my video diaries. I'm going to change the format a bit. I feel I don't need to record my thoughts anymore. I just need to follow what I've learned and what I've implemented. It's been great looking back on these for memory purposes. So I'll keep some of those qualities in, but the main purpose is that I just want to remind myself of the things that I've learned, implemented, and to keep going. Thanks again for watching.